Assemble the equipment you will need for the procedure. Wash your hands before proceeding. Confirm the identity of the infant using two identifiers and take some time to introduce yourself to the child's parent or guardian. Speaking to the parent's level of understanding, explain the procedure and offer the parent the opportunity to ask questions. At this time, provide the parent with an official information pamphlet to explain the PKU test and its purpose. Use a marking pen to label the test card with the patient's and provider's information. Apply gloves. Select and clean the appropriate site, allowing the alcohol to dry before making the puncture. Careful to avoid the cleansed area, grasp the infant's foot and, using a pediatric-sized lancet, Make a puncture approximately 1 to 2 millimeters deep in the lateral or side portion of the infant's heel. If at all possible, it is best to avoid any recent puncture sites. Wipe away the first drop of blood with a gauze pad. When the second drop of blood forms, press the back side of the filter paper test card against the infant's heel while exerting gentle pressure on the heel. You will need enough blood to completely fill and soak through the circle. Use only one blood drop within a single circle, but make sure that all of the circles on the test card are filled. Hold the 2x2 two two gauze over the puncture and apply gentle pressure until the bleeding stops. The child may be released from your care only once the bleeding has come to a complete stop and the parent has been given an opportunity to ask questions. Do not put an adhesive bandage on the infant, as this could constitute a choking hazard. Properly dispose of any waste. Remove your gloves and wash your hands. Allow any PKU test cards to dry in a single layer on a non-absorbent surface for at least two hours. To avoid cross-contamination, Drying cards should never be stacked on top of one another. The card should be sent to a laboratory within two days. Document the procedure in the patient's medical record. Once the results are received, these two should be added to the medical record and signed by the provider.